Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how users and user groups work on Rizuna. Rizuna is not limited in numbers of users, so you can add as many users and user groups as you need. You can access user management by clicking on your name in the top right hand corner when you've logged on to Rizuna. A drop down appears and you select Administration. The first tab in the Administration panel is User Management, which is already active. You can see a number of tabs for other administration tasks at the top, and we'll show you how they're used in other video tutorials. For now, let's just click on Add User, which will open a new window where you can enter your relevant user details. Enter the user's email address at the top. Then, add a username. Note that Rizuna automatically checks whether a username and email address is available. Now, choose a password. The user can change this at any time after logging into Rizuna. We need to fill in the first and last name for the user. The other fields are optional. Finally, we enable the user by selecting the User Can Log In checkbox at the top. The user is now created, but until we add this user to a group, he or she will simply belong to the Everybody group, and so can only see his own folders and folders which have been marked visible to everybody. So we go to the Group tab, where you'll see a list of all groups in your Rizuna account. And we can just add a new group to which to add our new user. Simply give it a name, and click the Add button. This opens a window where we can select which users to add to the group from the drop-down. If there are several more users, hold down Shift or Control, or for Apple users the Command key, to select more people. Click on Save, and close the window. Now let's find a folder and grant access to the new Rizuna internal group which we've just created. Let's pick the Rizuna folder in the My Folder list on the left. Click on the Folder Properties tab, which you'll find at the top of the folder. As you can see, this folder is already shared with everybody, but we want the new user group to be able to read and write to the folder. So we simply select the group and set the permissions in the radio buttons on the right. Click Update and we're all set. Let's see how it looks for our new user. Simply open a new browser window and go to the login page. Enter the new user credentials and log in. As you can see, the new user has his own folder, as well as the Rizuna folder, which we just shared. The standard My Folder is empty, since the user hasn't uploaded any assets yet. If you mouse over the shared folder, you'll be able to see who the folder owner is. When we open the folder, we'll see all the assets in that folder. You'll also notice that since this user has read-write access to the folder, he's also able to add files. If he only had read access, this button wouldn't be visible. If we click on an asset, we can see and edit all details. And we can, of course, also see the movie if we click on this rendition. Since we've created our new user as a standard user, he'll not be able to access the administration panel in Rizuna. You can see that the administration item is simply not on the list. Well, there you have it. How to work with users and groups in Rizuna in a nutshell, we hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial, and thank you for using Rizuna.